Welcome back to Artists Exposed with Tim Moss right here on UBC TV. This is a special day. I'm out in Fire Island in the Pines at my good buddy Stephen Daniello's place. How are you? I'm great. And Tim, happy birthday, everybody. Oh, yeah. It's Tim's birthday. <laughs> We're shooting this on my birthday. Thank you. And yeah. he's been so sweet and so kind and so generous and just typical Stephen. Oh, well, Stephen thank Stephen Daniello. You. I have been wanting to talk to you for so long <laughs> on this show because you are so fascinating. You're just... Uh, you know everybody on Fire Island. You uh, are, you are Fire Island celebrity chef, and you are also the chair chef yes. here on Fire Island. Mm -hmm. So, um, welcome, and <laughs> let's let's find out no, a little welcome. bit more. <laughs> welcome, welcome to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's find out a little about Stephen Daniello. You were born in New Jersey, right? I was born in New Jersey and raised and raised in New Jersey. So you've always had kind of New York City at your access as a t uh, as a in my young in my twenties, uh -huh. New York City. Uh, oh, that would never, have been great. Never Fire Island until 1991. Uh huh. And then I was there once I was here once and right. I didn't return for 10 years and here I am I came for a day and never left yeah. I love that <laughs> that's Fire Island that's, well Fire so. Island it's just it's so unique for one thing it was originally established as kind of back when gay was like illegal yes and yep. and and no we couldn't it was underground it was an underground society the gay community yes. and so they kind of found Cherry Grove and the Pines here on Fire Island and just created a gay community. Yes. Where yes. where where gays could come and be free and hold hands on the beach. I remember the first time I ever saw two men walking along yeah. the beach holding hands. I was like, oh my God. There's lots of movies, there's lots of history. Yeah. Uh, yeah. there's plenty of stories and there's still some people around that can tell these stories. Yeah, right. Um, a lot of famous artists, actors, actresses yeah. that were in the closet. Uh -huh. uh, anybody that was gay that wanted to be free uh -huh. came here. Yeah, because yeah. it was it was a free society. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is there's no cars. There are no cars, no cars here. No cars. And it's a very narrow island and on one side you have the bay and on the other side you have the ocean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which beautiful crashing waves on this beautiful white beach and mm -hmm. oh it's just it's so it's paradise tranquil. It every is. Every day paradise. It is. So paradise. you wake up and you can just walk up, which mm -hmm. I did this morning for my birthday walk. I walked yes. along the beach, had a long ni nice long walk. It was yeah. wonderful. So um, in the 90s, the early 90s, you came out to Fire Island. What was your first impression when you came here? In was, more ways than one. Uh, well, <laughs> believe it or not, I did things a little backwards. When I came out here in the 90s, I was focused. I was grounded. Uh, I was getting ready to, you know, my career was starting to take uh -huh. off. So my friends took me out here for a four-day weekend. It was the white party, 4th of July oh, weekend. Oh, wow. Wow. And, you know, t that day was, that weekend was fun vacation and I went home and I the next 10 or 12 years I worked uh -huh. you know I you know, took other vacations and stuff but uh, I worked and I built my career and I wandered out here one day 2000 I was on Long Island for a um, a, a 4th of July party again uh -huh. 4th of July seems to be the theme here <laughs> um, and I saw the f signs for the ferry and I said let me go over for a few hours and just have fun and come back well, I ran into an old friend, and here I am. <laughs> 18, 16, 18 years later, I'm still here, and I love it. Well, you are extremely established here yes. on Fire Island. But how you got here, so you, you've always been very dedicated. Like you were saying, you were very focused in your work. What kind of work, like what were you doing? Were you developing? When did you, when did you first realize you had a knack for cooking? Oh God! Early uh, in high school. Um, remember when really? you were in, in junior high and high school? They had home economics, home ec, yeah. wood shop, metal shop. I excelled in home economics. Uh huh. Um, and I would go home and I would make the cookies and the brownies and whatever the biscuits. Yeah, right. And my mother loved it, right? And then all of a sudden, it was time to get a job. I was 15, 16. I got a job in a bakery. It just seemed oh, like wow. okay. I fell into it. I didn't plan it. Uh huh. Um, and you just learned that you enjoyed doing that or creating the food? Uh, I was a natural, so uh -huh. it was like I was doing it. Uh -huh. um, at that time, it was a lot of work. It was long hours. I wouldn't say I enjoyed it, but I, I needed money. I yeah, a, right. You know, I was getting a car. I was right. well, getting my license. Yeah. So it was a job, and I never thought I would stay in this, you know. And mm -hmm. um, all of a sudden, 
you know, chefs were telling me I was a natural and they kept taking me with them when they went to different restaurants. Uh -huh. Come with me, come with me. Wow. And uh, so I pursued it as a career. I, uh, I was in high school. I was um, a member of the DECA, Distributive Education Clubs of America. Uh -huh. And it was um, to, it was designed to, for the students to go to work a half a day, school in the morning. Oh, okay. Work. And then like a trade. It was it was a trade, uh -huh. and it was um, basically to prepare you for your future. That's if, wonderful. Yeah. And Mr. John Pico, who was my teacher. Uh, saw a lot in me he saw interviewing you know eye contact conversation a presence and he said you you've got it uh-huh you know and uh, and continued from there and then it was just restaurant after restaurant after restaurant and um here i am uh with my own catering company so would you like each restaurant 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 you would kind of learn new so yeah. you could walk into basically any kitchen now and oh yeah and, and, and take over take it over yeah <laughs> uh, but i did go to culinary school uh-huh uh, i did uh, i went to the culinary institute of america and i graduated in 1987 and then i trained in france and i uh, i worked in new york and I traveled, so uh -huh. uh, in addition to that, I also have managers, manage, management, <laughs> management <laughs> skills, uh -huh. um, and that helps. Yeah, that helps yeah. a lot. A lot of chefs don't have management skills. Right, right. They just focus on the cooking yes. and don't know how to handle the people and the business Manage, and all of that. Yes, the, the, yeah. That so. makes total sense. Yeah. That makes total sense. So you got the whole package. That's good. Yeah, yeah, and without even planning it. <laughs> uh, right, but yeah. that's that's even yeah. better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, do you have like a favorite thing that you like to cook, or like a specialty, or? I like. When I when I'm cooking for people, I like them to tell me what they want, and oh, then I great. I make it special for them, or I try to, you know, I always used to say I, I have the crab cake, the Fire Island lump crab cake. Oh, uh, that the good. rigatoni bolognese. Everybody loves oh. my bolognese sauce, uh -huh. and my asabuco and my risotto. Oh okay? my goodness! So those are the I'm things I, right I, I know I like. To, I like, <laughs> and these are things I like to eat, but also, you know. People will like my dish, but they'll say, can we add this, or do you have this? And, uh -huh. um, and something as simple as chicken milanese, okay? Chicken milanese, I breaded. I have no idea how to okay. make that. Well, it's a, bre <laughs> it's a breaded chicken cutlet that's been pan fried, uh -huh. and you serve it with uh, arugula tossed in balsamic and red onions and oh, tomato yeah. and mozzarella cheese, and and it's, it's, a, it's, it's a favorite everywhere you go. Oh, that sounds wonderful. So, you know, it's just about fulfilling people's so, happiness and appetite so basically you have been exposed to so many different types of cuisines that people can tell you what they want and you can whip it up yes if i have that's the, uh, amazing yeah, yeah. amazing because yeah. you know a lot of times people have you know like either either just french cuisine or they have specialties yes that and they the kind reason of, i don't is uh, this happened when i worked for walt disney back in mm -hmm. the uh during my apprenticeship uh, there was a, tra a, a a person from another country uh, came in, stayed, and wanted uh, a soup that was mm -hmm. native of you know his culture um, or part of his culture, and it turned out to be a simple broth soup with a like a tofu in it, right? Uh -huh. But nobody knew what it was, and uh -huh. the chef, the executive chef, knew, and he and then when he was done preparing it, he said, "Don't ever." focus on one cuisine you need to know them all uh -huh. and from that day on brilliant brilliant mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so um because i know that you you are the chef at many different parties you also cater now firstly before we go any further how can people find out more about you okay like, do you have a uh, website i have or? a website and it, it's being rebuilt now but it's www.officialsharechef.com official share chef official share chef .com. Also on Instagram, Share Chef Stephen Daniello. Uh -huh. oh, That's okay. Share Chef Stephen Daniello. Uh, now Facebook. Stephen is PH. PH, yes. Uh huh. Uh, and Facebook, Stephen Daniello, PH. Uh huh. Um, and uh, you know that's it. Fire Island. Okay. Just get off the boat. Yeah, and right. Now for Stephen, <laughs> and they'll point in the right direction. Yes. And that is where we're at now. And c again, from working from sh from this restaurant and this restaurant and learning this and learning that. If you can see behind me, there's the pool, and that's the house, 
where Stephen lives on Fire Island. Yes. <laughs> See, you're doing real good, Four very bedrooms, well. Five bathrooms. Yeah. And you also rent the, rent them out over the, the, rooms. the yes. summertime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how can people find out about that? If um, I am on Airbnb, but okay. that's, uh, I would have to share the links. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, yeah, we were, it, it, Airbnb is set up pretty different. You have to go searching Fire Island Pines, um, and then you won't know if you find me. It's just, yeah, it's right. just the way it's set up. Right, okay. Um, uh, but you know, just message me on Facebook or something yeah, and say, go. hey, I'm looking for a room, can we talk? Um, and uh, here I am. Uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate. Uh, this house is owned by uh, two brothers, great men. They own the Pines Pantry. And Which is like the supermarket, the supermarket here in the Pines. So they're, they're, if you want food, you got to go to them. <laughs> fresh baked goods, fresh fish, fresh meat, fresh produce, a great service, great people. Yeah. Um, this house uh, is theirs, and um, I I take care of it for them. Uh huh. You know? And it's and, it's so wonderful, mm -hmm. and you do such a beautiful job. He's always got it cleaned and looking perfect, and <laughs> just so. I was just telling you last night, like it it's so nicely designed and laid out, and and but yet it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like you walk in and you just are comfortable. Yes. It's very homey. Yeah, a nice home at the beach. And oh, we, lit, right? we lit a fire last night. Yes, that was so nice. Oh my gosh. It was cold and rainy, but yeah. even, no matter what type of weather we're having out here, it's just beautiful, relaxing, mm -hmm. stress-free. Yeah, yeah. And just fun. Just yep. a good time. Just a good time. Yep. Now you are known, you were known as the Fire Island Celebrity Chef because you've cooked for a lot of celebrities. Yes, out but the here. celebrity title, and I will give him credit, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the Celebrity Chef title started uh, eight, uh, 2008. Uh -huh. uh, I met Felipe Rose, the original oh, Native okay. American Indian uh, from the Village People. Right. We worked on a project together for a year, a music and uh, culinary. Um, mm -hmm. It was his project, his idea, and his plan was to bring in uh, celebrities, you know, mm -hmm. and he knew all of the 70s divas and oh, the 80s, right. and Gloria Gaynor was our first, um, uh -huh. you know, music and food, and they said celebrity chef, you know, and that stayed with, and then when I came back uh -huh. out here to Fire Island and started working, celebrities were everywhere. Yeah, right. And I was cooking for them at the restaurants, and you know, people say, well, you're not a celebrity, or what is a celebrity chef? And and I cook for celebrities. Yeah, that's yeah. all I do. Uh huh. You know? And I have a great clients, great, great. You know. Yeah, um, and he was telling me about some of them, which I can't mention. Yeah, we can't mention but some names. Yeah, they're big, big <laughs> celebrities. Yeah, yeah, but that's so cool that they they entrust you to, to um, yeah, cook for them and and, and again once again. I'm in their right, home. Right, right, exactly. And mm -hmm. once again, you ask them what they want and. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, right now, I can't say who, but I'm working on a, a new menu. I've been cooking for them for mm -hmm. three summers now. Nice. And uh, I try to keep it exciting and fun. And I know who likes the rare meat. They both right. want nice. meat. Nice. This one, no, you know, oh, just chicken, vegetables. And uh, you can't even give them ceviche. They want grilled shrimp. You know, ceviche, yeah. anything that's been raw, and to them, that's not cooked. Uh-huh. You know? So... Uh, Anyway, but see, it's, it's that conscientiousness, yeah. like being conscious of well, this person likes this way, this person likes that. That's what sets you aside. Yeah, is because you you can adapt the the um, the menu to to their specifications. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that, that's what I'm sure everyone loves about you. Yeah. But isn't it fun like when you cook something and just to see everybody enjoying it? Yes. I love, because yes. I love food and you know, when I taste something, oh, that tastes good, you know, yes. that, and, and to think that you're the one that actually prepared it for and, their and, enjoyment. And I tell everybody this, my energy on Fire Island in cooking is, is magnified, it's, it's multiplies. And you know, the, the food, the music, the dancing, the happiness, when you're, we call it America. When we go back to New yeah. York and we go to America, <laughs> um, everybody's so stressed. They're in a hurry. Nobody enjoys right. dinner. Yeah. And that, yeah. you know, it's just like if you're having a bad day, it shows in your food. Mm. You, know, mm -hmm. people, you know, and um, so when you're having a bad day as a customer, it affects my food. Uh huh. You know, it's, 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 a, you know, 
and it's food, people, and and fun and laughter and music and yeah, as, yeah. as we're gonna do tonight. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be. I can't wait. Thank mm-hmm. you. That's so we're sweet. doing Tim's birthday dinner. I've never had a birthday dinner. Yeah. This is so cool. And, By a chef. And we're gonna film, <laughs> which reminds me also too. I think I'm on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, right. But I'm under different names for the people who did the films and, uh-huh. and, and I the see. interviews. So. I see. But I'm sure they could just like search Stephen. I guess you Stephen could, yeah. Daniello. Stephen with PH. Yeah. With PH. PH. But now you're not only just an incredible chef, um, but you also uh, were a producer and and produced events that we've done <laughs> yes. together. We've worked together in the past. Yes. With, uh-huh. with um, Winter Royal Tea. Now they have here at Fire Island. They have. A low tea, low tea and a middle tea. Middle, oh, they have a middle yeah, tea yeah, too. Yeah. And and what that is is just basically everybody, all the gays in the area, just flock to one bar for low tea, mm-hmm. and then to, from like what six to eight or something, and then they Choosy. all flock like they know. Yeah. At a specific time to the next bar it's for like middle the migration tea. on national and then Geographic. all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, the flock goes flying over to the next one yes. for high tea. So and it's like that every day. My first introduction to tea, I was in Key West many many years ago, and my friend said, "Come on, we're going to tea." And I was thinking like, what British English? Yeah, uh, right. I did too uh, the first yeah, time. Yeah, and I was like, tea, and I, oh, I could use some scones right now and finger sandwiches. <laughs> we got there. It was all men. Yeah. Dancing and drinking. I said, "Where's the food?" <laughs> <laughs> they are the food. And that, and, and that leads us to the winter royal tea. Yes. The. Uh, because the tea happens in the summer, and it, it was never brought anywhere else. I mean, they're, yeah, because they're usually outside and very right. festive and so like. I mean, obviously, cruising. if you live in a warm climate, I mean, we we don't, you mm-hmm. know. So tea ends when in Fire Island fall. ends, yeah, in yeah. the fall. <laughs> and New York City, but if obviously if you're traveling to Hawaii and Palm Springs and Florida, there's yeah, tea, right. there's yeah. tea dance. But here, New York didn't have it. Mm-hmm. And that year we came out with the Royal Tea. I think Robin Bird came out with Below Tea. Yeah, yeah. We came out with the um, Royal Tea. And then I was there, wasn't there another tea? Oh, the Tea Cruise. Yeah, it, yeah, right. Uh-huh. The CT. CT, yeah. CT. Yeah. And, um, and we wanted to incorporate food. Yeah. So we found a place with a kitchen. You know, we, we moved around the city until we found our niche. But... We brought in cabaret, drag. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, um, Yua Hamasaki, who was just recently on RuPaul's Dra- Drag RuPaul's Race. Thing, yeah. She's doing very well and traveling the world now performing. Susan but Levine. She was, Susan Levine, who's the, a world-renowned DJ. DJ. And Ian Ford. Ian Ford also. Uh, Aaron uh, Paul. Yeah. Uh, and we've had Labari. We have to mention, we've had, uh, yeah. Anthony just Labari, so Labari. many. And, and I was grateful that I got to host. Oh, and yes. I had a ball hosting these shows because we'd have a different musical guest or different artist every week, and Tim, it was so much fun. Tim mapped it out. You mapped it out. Uh, yeah. Choreographed. Well, we'd all just pitch in and well, do what yeah, we do. Well, yeah, you pulled it all together, and mm-hmm. sometimes you were a one-man show. When yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> but it was all fun and yeah. all good memories, and, and I just, I love this man. Thank you. Just thank You talk you. about a good soul and a good heart thank and just kind of generous and and um, anybody that knows Stephen Daniello's is a lucky person. Thank you. So, <laughs> Thank you. and same here. And I'm so happy I can give you a weekend away from the and craziness and the madness. And a birthday party. And a birthday party. And when you told me you've never had a birthday party, I don't you've never ever celebrated. remember. Yeah, I mean, for years. I mean, when I was a kid, maybe of course, I've had yeah, some, but yeah. I've just I've I've been single and on my own for so many years, and it's just a lot of times I wouldn't even realize it was my birthday um, until yeah, I wrote the date m- down. Me too. I was like, oh my god, it's my birthday today. Well, just recently I realized I was 54. I've been telling everybody I've been 52 for years yeah. now. <laughs> But, you know, you get older and it's like, it's just another day. Exactly, and exactly. You know, and another number that goes up. Another and, number, yeah, but yeah. another notch. <laughs> <laughs> like Madonna, 1982, Dude. 1992. <laughs> In, uh, 2002. De- de- desperately seeking Susan. No, 2002, it's down here. So. Oh, goodness. But thank right, you so thank much. You. I appreciate you taking a few minutes and chatting here. Yeah, same here. And we're you. also going to get some shots of, of the birthday yep. party tonight, and he's going to be cooking. Yep. We got but if you fun. ever get a chance to eat food that was prepared by Chef, Share Chef, Share Chef, Stephen Daniello, mm-hmm. please be sure to do that because it is a special treat. Mm-hmm. 
And I thank, thank you so you. much. Thank I you. love you, honey. I love you. Oh. Too. <laughs>